What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It is nice and early on a Sunday morning. Uh, I didn't see very well, you probably don't care about that, but <laughs> uh, we're doing legs uh, this morning. Posterior stereo chain this time, so a lot of you asked for this video actually, so you really enjoyed the previous one, uh, which was focusing a lot more on some quads uh, and calves. So today we're going to do glutes, hamstrings. Uh, there's going to be three stages, well actually four. Uh, first is going to be warm up, of course you have to do warm up. Second we're going to do prep work, prep slash activation. Like This is something I like to do, so if you saw my previous video you see that I did them. Uh, there's going to be three exercises, but you can pick two, that's fine. What I find with hamstrings and glutes is a lot of people do not know how to engage their hamstrings and glutes when training them. That's probably why you don't feel anything when you're training, or why they're not growing. So I am going to show you really good um, prep such activation um, exercises you can do. And what by doing these, it will really help. And trust me, you will feel the difference once you go into the main workout. You would know that your glute, how to activate your glutes, activate your hamstrings as you're training them. And then obviously we have the main workout and we have a finisher, obviously. We're gonna have a, a nice tasty finisher. If it's too long, scale it down. Uh, with the reps, the sets, scale down the sets keep the reps the same, keep the tempo the same. Again, we're gonna be doing a lot of progressive overload on all the different exercises, but I suggest you do at least two of the prep slash activation movements, main workout, and as, if you can, do the finisher as well. So obviously, I'm gonna explain everything as we go along and tell you why I do certain things, and yeah. So hopefully this will be another incredible video because you guys really liked the other one. And again, because you're awesome at doing this, please leave a thumbs up, it really helps me out. And also subscribe. Oh, no, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do this. Subscribe here. here. <laughs> I'll probably point it in the wrong place now. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go and get warmed up. And let's do this.
really good way to activate your glutes. Um, I like to stand up, lean forward. So when you do that, that automatically activates your glutes anyway. So up, open. Okay, you're using more of your hips to open this and your glutes. And I like to stop just there. You notice I'm not going all the way in. Because when I stop there, that's still activated. Okay, which is what you want. So you're keeping that under tension. Open as far back as you can. Hold it for a second. Come back here. Open again. Again, this is always under tension throughout the 10 reps. And then superset that. Same way, sit back down. Another 10. Okay, if you do it that way, two sets, you're gonna feel a massive difference. So with this one, if you have a GHD, do it on a GHD. However, most commercial gyms don't. Use a lap machine. So it's glute ham raise. Now, a lot of times most people get this wrong is they extend too far out. So if you notice, I don't fully extend out. So you, that makes it a lower back. Hyperextension, which you don't want. <laughs> My legs are too big for this. Okay, so first thing you want to do, squeeze that. When you squeeze your glutes, in a way, that will automatically engage your hamstrings at the same time. Squeeze it. This is to support your legs, so make sure it's nice and low. And what you want to do is slowly, is keep squeezing that and slowly go down. About four seconds. Come on. Keep squeezing. Don't relax that. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. At no point should you relax your glutes till you finish all of the reps. If you do that properly, you would really, really feel your hamstrings, your glutes.
more help in installing with swimmers and deficit lunges, deficit reverse lunges. I know a lot of people like conventional deadlifts, but I love sumo deadlifts because one, I'm 6'2", so uh, sumo is just great for me, but I really, really feel that I can engage my hamstrings a lot better when I do sumos and my glutes. So if you notice, I'm not doing a dead stop sumo. So once you go below your knees, come back up, similar to RDLs. Um, that was hard. <laughs> um, again, still controlling that tempo on the eccentric. Aim for about two to three seconds. Deficit reverse lunges. Nice and slow. Deep into that lunge. Your knees don't have to touch the floor, but if they do, that's not a problem. Yeah, deep into that lunge. Hip thrust, most of you are familiar with hip thrust. One of the best exercises to do for your lower back, glutes, and hamstrings. They're very awkward to get into, um, but if you find them uncomfortable in your hip bone, use a mat, just double it. Double up the mat as well. Don't try and be like macho, just use the bar. It will hurt and it's pointless. So, do that. Again, control the tempo on the eccentric. When you come up, squeeze for about a second, glutes, hamstrings together. With the split stance out here. Working leg in front, support leg behind. Okay, bend your knees down. You don't have to keep them straight because it's not a snip leg there. So bend your knees, you want to hinge, down, stop below the knees, come up. Now, I don't like to go all the way up. Okay, I want to keep that tension. So stop just there, keep it under tension, down.
nine leg holds. I do them two ways. One way I'm upright. It's being at that angle actually, your well, hamstrings will be engaged automatically. And then what I like to do is hold it for at least a second at the top and squeeze as hard as I can. Every time I curl the pads up, I squeeze my hamstrings as hard as I can and keep squeezing. And then straight down to a lion leg curl. And with this one, it's not about tempo, just rep them out. I like to do about eight to 10 reps or just go to a failure. Workout right. This last finisher should have hurt a lot. So uh, yeah, it was fun. I'm done. Uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That would help me out greatly if you haven't done so. Again, subscribe. I know I said it twice. <laughs> Uh, any questions leave a comment below as always and I'll be happy to answer them. Just don't forget scale down if you don't have time. But one tip I would say give you all is save legs for days where you have time. So maybe on a day you're not working, you have more time in the gym, save your leg days to the, for those. Legs require a bit more time than any other body part and in my opinion you shouldn't be rushing a leg workout. So train them on a day where you're not working, you don't have to rush. Yeah, have an awesome week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.